Hello students, welcome you all back to the lectures of Business Statistics 2. Already we have started in the last 2-3 videos, I have uploaded on theoretical distribution. That is binomial, Poisson and normal. These are the 3 theoretical distribution we are going to do the problems. And uh, discrete probability distributions are binomial and Poisson. Already we have completed the problems and uh, theory explanation of binomial distribution. And last video we have started the Poisson distribution. These two distributions are very similar. Poisson distribution, uh, Poisson distribution is also a discrete probability distribution which is widely applied in statistical work. So this, strictly speaking, this Poisson distribution is a limiting factor of binomial distribution where the number of trials are large whereas the possibility of happening of the event is very small. In simple words, this Poisson distribution will be applied when n is large and p is very very small. In those situations, it will be easier to find out the probability by using Poisson distribution rather than binomial distribution. So this uh, Poisson distribution will be widely used in the cases of rare events where the happening of the event will be very very rare. Example in case of misprint in the books, pu books published, similarly road accidents or defective parts in manufacturing organization where strict quality control is applied. The happening of the event is very very rare. In those cases we apply binomial, uh, Poisson distribution. The probability function of Poisson distribution already we have applied in the previous video. P of R e to the power of minus m into m to the power of r by r factorial. This formula we will apply to find out the probability of r successes. Right? So main parameter in Poisson distribution is m and m is equal to n into p. In this formula of e to the power of minus m, we have to get to the value of e to the power of minus m from the table. In most of the examinations, in the problem itself, it will specify the value of e to the power of minus m. Suppose if it is not given, you have to carry your own table. So you can get the table in most of the textbooks and also from the net you can take it uh, the, this uh, distribution value. e to the power of minus m value for Poisson distribution, you can get it. So hope everybody have got the hard copy of the problems from the link in my district description. So my suggestion before watching the video, get a hard copy of all the problems and keep it ready while watching the video. Then only you can be able to understand. Okay, now we'll start the 10th problem. Already 9 problems we have completed so far. See the 10th problem. The mean of a Poisson distribution is 2.25. Mean of the Poisson distribution is 2.25. And find the other constants of the distribution. Find the other constants of the distribution. So only one value is given mean. Mean is 2.25. Other constants we have to find out. The mean of Poisson distribution is denoted as M. M is equal to 2.25 given. <clears throat> According to Poisson distribution, mean is equal to variance. M is equal to variance. So one of the characteristic features of Poisson distribution is variance and mean both are same. <clears throat> both are equal. So M is equal to variance. So variance is also equal to 2.25. When mean is 2.25, variance will also be 2.25 in, in this Poisson distribution. And standard deviation we know, root of variance. If you put the variance under root, you will get standard deviation. So 2.25 root, you will get 1.5. This is the standard deviation. So the other constants are, when mean is 2.25, <coughs> the variance is also 2.25 and standard deviation is 1.5. That's it. This is the... This is the information we can extract from this problem. Now, see the 11th one. 11th problem. The following table shows the number of customers returning the products in a marketing territory. <clears throat> the data is for 100 stores. So we are given a frequency distribution here. Discrete frequency distribution. Num number of returns 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Number of stores 4, 14, 23, 23, 18, 9, 9 fit a Poisson distribution. So we have to prepare a Poisson distribution table, frequency distribution table, theoretical frequency distribution table, according to Poisson, right? Now, see carefully, fitting a Poisson distribution, number of returns, number of returns x, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
and number of stores frequency 4 14 23 23 18 9 9 total n is equal to 100 in uh, <coughs> statistics arithmetic mean x bar mean is equal to summation fx by n summation fx by n so we multiply f into x 0 into 4 1 into 14 2 into 23 3 into 23 we have multiplied fx the so total of fx is 300 why we are calculating fx to find out the mean so here mean is equal to summation fx by n 300 by 100 <coughs> 3 so mean value we got 3 so e to the power of minus m is equal to e to the power of minus 3 you refer the table in this table you can get e to the power of minus 3 is 0 0.04979 from the table you can refer e to the power of minus 3 is 0 0.04979 this is e to the power of minus 3 right according to poison p of r is e to the power of minus m into m to the power of r by r factorial this is the formula now p of r is e to the power of minus 3 into 3 to the power of r by r factorial the values of p of 0 p of 1 p of 2 p of 3 p of 4 p of 5 p of 6 so maximum high is 12 6 so up to p of 6 can be calculated as follows previous video i told you there are two methods of calculating the probabilities one is formula method another is shortcut method we'll get the same answer whether we have to we have to apply whether we apply the formula or by applying shortcut the only thing is if you want the probability in sequence 0 1 2 3 4 5 then shortcut method is better if you want only one or two probabilities randomly then we apply the formula to calculate the probability so here we need in sequence 0 p of 0 p of 1 p of 2 p of 3 so in this case shortcut method will apply to find out the probability so p of 0 is e to the power of minus m simply don't apply the complete formula we'll get the same answer e to the power of minus m so e to the power of minus 3 already we got e to the power of minus 3 0.04979 now we need p of 1 <clears throat> p of 1 is equal to p of 0 into m by 1 already in the previous video i explained a lot p of 1 is equal to p of 0 into m by 1 p of 0 already we got it 0 0.04979 m m is 3 3 by 1 you will get 0 0.14937 now p of 2 is equal to p of 1 into m by 2 so p of 1 already we got it 0 0.14937 into 3 by 2 you will get 0 0.22406 p of 3 is equal to p of 2 already p of 2 we got it into m by 3 m3 3, 3 by 3 again we will get the same value 0 0.22406 then p of 4 is equal to p of 3 into m by 4 so 0 0.22406 into 3 by 4 0 0.16805 p of 5 is p of 4 into m by 5 bracket may jo hai denominator may be void na p of 5 so denominator also 5 p of 4 denominator 4 so p of 4 0.16805 into 3 by 5 0 0.1003 P of 6 is equal to P of 5 into M by 6. So 0 0.10083 into 3 by 6. 0 0.05042. The so shortcut method easily we have calculated P of 0, P of 1, P of 2, P of 3 like that. Now we will make a table. <coughs> expected frequency E of R. E stands for expected frequency. E of R is equal to capital N into P of R. Jobby probability I have P of 0, P of 1. Yes, sare probability is called capital N, the total of frequency. Capital N is the total of frequency. So capital N se multiply karenge 100 into P of R. So E of R is equal to 100 into P of R. Now R ki jaga pe 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. E of 0, E of 1, E of 2, E of 3, E of 4, E of 5, E of 6. <coughs> e of 0, 100 into P of 0. 100 into P of 0 already you got it here multiply kalo 4.979 approximately equal to 5 rounded off to 5 similarly e of 1 is equal to 100 into p of 1 p of 1 is here 0.14937 14.937 15 e of 2 is equal to 100 into p of 2 100 into p of 2 p of 2 is how much 0 0.22406 so 22.406 22, .406, 22. <coughs> then e of 3 100 into P of 3, same, 22.406. 22.406, 22, 
e of 4 100 into p of 4 p of 4 you are having 16805 16.805 i am taking 17 e of 5 100 into p of 5 10 e of 6 100 into p of 6 5 the total we are getting 96 actually the total should be 100 the total of the actual frequency and the expected frequency must be same but here we are getting four difference the reason rounding of error it is called rounding of error yahan par digits we are taking five five digits so if you take oh, still more digits then we will get approximately equal to 100 in some problems you get small difference and that is due to rounding of error so this is a problem in which we have prepared a frequency theoretical frequency distribution table according to poisson actual frequency distribution is given in the problem this table which is given in the problem is the actual frequency distribution on that basis, we have prepared the expected frequency table, right? So this is the problem number 11. Come on students, now we'll start the 12th problem. So far we have completed 11 problems. In the last, this 12th problem is exactly similar to the 11th problem. In 11th problem, we have prepared the expected frequency table. That means actual frequency table is given in the problem and by using that actual frequencies we have calculated expected frequencies as per Poisson distribution. So in this problem also we are required to find out the expected frequencies and make the expected frequency distribution table. Right. So see the 12th one. Fit a Poisson distribution to the following data and calculate theoretical frequencies. So actual frequencies are given deaths 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are x values and frequency f values are 122, 60, 15, 2, 1. The actual frequencies are given and we have to find out the expected frequency as per Poisson distribution. Now see here, fitting a Poisson distribution. So deaths x 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 given in the problem. Frequencies, actual frequencies are given in the problem. So by using this frequency and x, we can calculate fx because we need mean value. We need mean value. So f into x multiply 122 into 0, 60 into 1, 15 into 2, 2 3s are 6, 1 4s are 4, total is 100. Summation fx 100 and n is equal to 200. Now mean is equal to summation fx by n, 100 by 200, so 0.5. So e to the power of minus m is equal to e to the power of minus 0 0.5. So if you refer the table, <coughs> if you refer the table e to the power of minus m table, Poisson distribution table, 0 0.5 under 0, 0 0.5 under 0, you will find 0 0.6065, 0 0.6065. This is the value of e to the power of minus 0 0.5. So according to Poisson, p of r is e to the power of minus m into m to the power of r by r factorial. The value of p of 0, p of 1, p of 2, p of 3, p of 4. Last one is 4. So we want up to 4. The shortcut method will apply. p of 0 is e to the power of minus m, e to the power of minus 0 0.5, 0 0.6065. And p of 1, p of 1 is p of 0 into m by 1. So p of 0 is 0 0.6065 into m is 0 0.5 by 1. 0 0.5 by 1. We got. p of 2 is equal to p of 1 into m by 2. We got all the values just like the previous problem. So we got the probability of 0, probability of 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we need the expected frequency. E of R is equal to N into P of R. N is the total of frequency. The total of frequency is 200. 200 into P of R. So that's X 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Expected frequency E of R 200 into P of R. So 200 into P of 0. P of 0 already we have here. here. 0 0.6065 is p of 0 so 200 into 0 0.6065 rounded off to 121 we will get some fractional 120 point something you will get rounded off to 121 similarly 200 into p of 1 p of 1 is here 0 0.30325 into 200 you will get 61 200 into p2 p2 is here 0 0.07581 into 200 15 200 into p3 P3 is 0 0.012635 into 200, you'll get this one. Last one, P of 4 is this value, this value into 200, you'll get 0. So total is 200, that's it. So this is the solution for problem number 
12 calculating expected these are the expected frequency and in the problem it is given actual frequency by applying Poisson distribution we have calculated expected frequency last and final problem problem number 13 this is the last problem on Poisson distribution so in Delhi with 100 municipal watts each having approximately the same population the distribution of typhoid cases in 1987 was as follows number of cases 0 1 2 3 4 and number of watts 63 28 6 2 1 fit a Poisson distribution to the above fitting a Poisson distribution means finding out theoretical frequency as per Poisson that's it so here fitting a Poisson distribution number of cases x 0 1 2 3 4 number of watts frequency 63 28 6 2 1 total is 100 so fx the total fx is 50 again mean value summation fx by l 50 by 100.5 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.6065 according to the table level. now according to Poisson law your probability of r successes e to the power of minus m into m to the power of r by r factorial shortcut method we have calculated all the p of 0 p of 1 p of 2 p of 3 p of 4 that's it now expected frequency e of r is n into p of r capital n into p of r 100 into p of r the p of r already we have here p of 0 p of 1 p of 2 all the values we have so 100 into p of 0 p of 0 is 6065 0 0.6065 into 100 61 rounded off you will get 60.65 so rounded off to 61 similarly 0.30325 into 100 you will get 30 30.325 you are getting we are rounded off to 30 so there are 0.07581 into 100 you will get 7.58 rounded off to 8 similarly point this multiplied by 100 this multiplied by 100 you will get this so total is 100 so we have completed the problems 13 problems we have done on Poisson distribution so the unit theoretical distribution there are three distributions binomial Poisson normal so far we have completed binomial and Poisson and both are discrete probability distribution the next distribution <coughs> last theoretical distribution is normal distribution which is a continuous probability distribution where the random variable will take any value whole number or fraction that's why a range of values will take so that will take up in the next class hope you understood the concept of binomial distribution and Poisson distribution if you like my video please share it in your groups and give a comment and also subscribe my channel okay see you then again in the next video